However, however, you know, you know, listen, 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 listen. Allah says in the Quran, there's a term called ilah. The term, yeah, the term ilah can be used for false gods, can be used for true God, depending on the context. So there are many ilah. That's why we, the shahada, we say la ilaha. Yes, we negate every false god. La ilaha illallah. And we only affirm one true almighty God, that is Allah. That is the beauty of the, of the shahada, that we negate every false god. So you see the problem with the Christians? He uses the term God, so he has to define it, whether in what context you're using. Whenever the term Allah, wait a minute, stop interrupting. Whenever the term Allah is used, we know immediately which God is talking about. It's always the God Almighty. But when the term Allah is used, or when the term Elohim is used, or when the term God is used, we know this can mean false gods. It can even mean the angels. It can be Moses. It can be human beings. It can be anyone who is not Almighty God. And it can also so mean, wait a minute. What, where is Allah derived from? Allah was actually now he's going to another topic. Before you go that, before you go that, let me ask you this. Let me ask, now is my turn to ask you a question. Can you be forgiven without the healing? my question. No, no, I, you ask me. Remember you said who is God? No, no, wait. You asked me the definition of God. Yes or no? That was your question. Now is my turn to ask you a question. Can you be forgiven without the human sacrifice of God, of Jesus? Can you be forgiven without the human Christ. of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God. That was my question. And definitely he came to lay his life down for the remission of sin. That was my question either. So, yeah. so definitely, definitely I cannot be saved without that Jesus Christ made. So you have to believe in the human Not the human Yes, did you believe in Jesus no, no. as a perfect blood? Do you, do you know human is a pagan ritual? Why do you, why do you go to the pagan ritual? I know you come to that. What do you mean I come to that? I know you come to that. There is a pagan ritual in the Old Testament. God God in the Old Testament, there was to Baal, the to false Baal. God. Yes, and God said, God said, do not do this. It will not even, it will not even cross his mind for any humans to God or to false God or whatever it is. He's saying the only way he can be saved is by a human you see, in other words, he doesn't believe in forgiveness. He believes in payment. In human payment by... Uh, yes. You only want your voice important. to be heard. It's very important. For, you are not speaking for, for, Yes. For, Listen to me. For someone who's like a Dracula, yes. For them, it's important. For pagans, yes. As Muslims, you know, we, like, we just had Eid al Adha recently. In the Quran, Allah says, neither the... No, the flesh of the animal goes to Allah, reaches Allah, because he didn't ask for any of that. It, it, it is a piety of the person which reaches Allah. Listen, it has been explained in the Bible. Whatever you want to say, you can say it all. You understand? It but you already said you believe in a it pagan ritual. In the, Bible. God, you in the Old Testament allowed Israel only to worship him when they were bringing of an animal. Before no. everybody is born. That's not true. Yes, true. That's not true. Yes, true. I can show you several verses where you don't need any. Even flower, this flower have, have flower. For certain, um, for, for reasons. But there what reasons? Once what reasons? Year, there was a, a day of atonement. Yeah. That if the high it is, priest it is so clear did not me that you will lack knowledge. Ritual, Unintentional sin. Unintentional sin. And why God? Why God? The so, word God Himself. So God the says. Generation. I mean, fallacy. I think you are obsessed with the word. I've already defined no, to you. God no, says, that is a wrong word. It is wrong. What is wrong? You are defining God Almighty. Of course, I was. That was my that question. God Almighty. So you misunderstood my question. God. By the way, why are you shouting? Body. Calm down. Do you I know you have a lot of energy. You no, might have no, used no. some energy Do drink or something. Where Calm down. From? First and foremost, you want God. You don't know I, when you ask, wait a minute. When you say God. When you say God, yes. do you take the context into consideration? Every context, I take it into consideration. Good. But so when I asked you, the word God was derived from. Can I at least finish my said. statement? Can I finish my statement? Yeah, go ahead. When you use the term God in English, did that word even exist during the time of Jesus? As Elohim. Okay. What? Yes. Do, what was Which the name? Was wait a minute. Let me ask you this. What was the name so that? Wait God a minute. God? What is the name that Jesus used for God Almighty? For God Almighty. Yes. When on his cross, when he was about to die. Yeah, what, what is the name Eli, of God? Eli, Father, Father. Allah, Allah is not Father, Father. It's my God, my God. My God, my God. So you, don't, don't yeah. misinterpret. He was calling, my God, Allah. my God. You understand? Which actually, he referred to as Father. Yes. You understand? So, so, so God you, Almighty, listen. God Almighty. I'm shouting, calm down. Yeah, God Almighty now. Calm down. Is Take a deep breath. He's the God calm. of gods. Definitely, there are a lot of gods in this world. Like you say, in the Bible, the devil was referred to as God of this world. 
to so our Lord of this world. Do you believe that? I do you believe that? that? I believe that. You know, in the Quran, Allah says, Rabbu Samawati wal Ard. That means He is the God of, yeah, of the heavens and the earth. According to the Bible, who is the God of the earth? Definitely. The shaitan. The shaitan. Okay. No, no, no. Stop we are coming to that. By the way, why is, why is Jesus in the Bible and the shaitan is called Lord of the world? Why is Jesus? Why is Jesus? Yes. Do you know your Bible? In what way? Why is Jesus called the? He became a for you. Do you remember that? He became a for me. Yeah. You didn't read the Bible, have you? In what way? Have you not read your Bible? No, no. Go ahead. Respect to me. Don't embarrass. Respect Just say I don't know, and I'll tell you. Have you read that passage or not? Jesus. Yes, Jesus is called a He became a for you. So the Satan in 2, Cor uh, two Cor is it Cor Corinthians, yeah? 2 Corinthians 4, 4 is the Lord of the world. Yeah. Jesus in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says he became a for you. So in the Quran, Allah blessed Jesus, uh, Isa alayhi salam, and the Shaitan is called... You mean, you mean for Satan... Is the one who... Let me understand you. You mean for Satan, being the Lord of this world, he was... No, no, no. You haven't read your Bible. Have you got a Bible on you? Open Galatians. I don't have Bible. I don't go Open. Bible. Give him the Bible if you don't mind. I don't have Bible. Open it and read it. No, no. Why are you saying read it? What do you mean? No, you don't try, You don't believe it. in your Bible? No. Open, open it. it. Come on. Yeah, the one that have it. Open, open it. it. Why you can't touch it? Yeah, no. Open it. And read it. Why don't you read it? I, I would love to read my Quran. You know. Open it and read. Why don't you read? Afi. Afi, read it. You got it. Afi, I insist you read. I'm teaching you your Bible. Learn. You don't teach me. I'll teach you. Okay. What does Galatians 3:13 say? Galatians 3:13. Yeah. What does it say? I might not know it at right but definitely. No, you no, said no. you're going to teach me. No, so go I'm on, I'm, teach you. I'm waiting for you. Teach me, Galatians 3.13. It doesn't say, I don't know. Okay. You know, you don't have to be so arrogant. See, I don't know. Listen, Simple as that. When they quoted, when they quoted, when I was telling you about uh, 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 chapter 4, verse 157, when this man was trying to correct you, when you were quoting chapter 5, verse 158, did you know? So don't tell me that. You said you were you're going earlier, to teach. You were earlier quoting Surah chapter 5, verse 158. I told you the crucifixion of Jesus Christ in the Quran was in Surah chapter 5. Are you 4, teaching him the Bible or 4, the Quran? Verse 1, so you know the Quran better than your Bible? No, no. Wow. Don't prove this, don't prove this as if I don't know Read it. Bible. I'm educating you now. Read it. You understand? Read it. So you did a mistake earlier on. Okay, so, so I got a reference wrong. Big deal. So but I didn't. But I never you. said. I never said I know the Quran by heart. Exactly. You could have said that as well. I don't know the Bible. Exactly. Say that. Yeah, so nobody is claiming that. No, you said you were going to teach me. Remember? I will, I will teach you. Right, so yeah, teach me right, Galatians 3.13. Right. Right. Go on. I don't know if I have, but I will teach you. How can you teach me something you don't know? Okay, give me the Okay, give me the context of 3.13. Psychologically, psychologically. Give me, give me the context. Hello? Give me the context. Wait, wait. Give me the context of Galatians 3. I don't know. I'm not asking you for the exact words. Give me the context. Let's see if he's even read his Bible. At least I can give you the context. Even if I gave you the wrong reference, for chapter 4, 157, Galatia, Galatia, and I made a mistake saying it's 5, 157. Galatia.